Russell Ingall might not be a full-time driver anymore, but as he has already proven in 2015, his value as a substitute made him the perfect choice to replace the injured Chas Mostert for the Castrol Gold Coast 600. With Cameron Waters now taking the role as lead driver, as Mostert sits out the rest of 2015 recovering from leg and wrist injuries, Ingall was at the Pro Drive Racing Australia Race Centre getting familiar with the car and team. Especially for this team who potentially will be taking away the 2015 V8 Supercar crown, it's just awesome. The need to call on the experience of Ingall, an important factor for team boss Tim Edwards especially as two of his charges in Mark Winterbottom and David Reynolds are in the championship fight. Not only is Russell very quick around that particular circuit, I mean he's an ex-champion of the sport, so you know to have that experience uh, with Cam will be great. I mean it's, it's going to be a little unusual for Cam not having Chaz there with him, but you know I think Russell will be fantastic to be a partner with him. The actual car Ingle and Waters will drive is the V8 Supergirls entry from Bathurst. It's the same car Mostert used at the Grand Prix support races and the Kuala Lumpur demonstration event. It's going to be very, very interesting to actually step behind the wheel and find out what it's all about, where they're quick, why they're quick, and uh, hopefully we can bring that to uh, the viewers of the, uh, of the race over the weekend, uh, over the telecast. So, um, yeah, there's, just, there's a lot of pluses and not too many negatives. After the emotional lows and highs of Bathurst, the Pro Drive squad is keen for the Gold Coast to be a much more straightforward event. If nothing else, you know, they probably wanted to deliver, you know, a race win for, for Chaz I'm sitting in the hospital bed. So, yeah, I mean, everybody's pumped to be going to the Gold Coast now and, and try and get that team's championship. The final look of the Pepsi Max Crew Falcon will be revealed in the days leading into the Gold Coast 600.